few of us got together and decided to do an experiment to find out how people would react to a complete stranger like myself reading their emails. And as we expected, the results were very predictable. Each person became angry and told me to get the f*** out of there. And rightfully so, because it's a huge invasion of anyone's privacy. And now that I've stated the obvious, you're probably wondering why anyone would waste their time annoying random people this way. And it's a valid question, for which we have a valid answer. We decided to do this in order to raise awareness about a very important issue regarding our electronic privacy. More specifically, how long we have a right to that privacy. As it stands today, if you have a Facebook, Gmail, Twitter, Hotmail, Instagram, LinkedIn, or any other third-party electronic account, 180 days is the tipping point for your messages. 180 days is where our government draws a line in the sand when it comes to your electronic privacy. In the United States, documents were recently obtained through a Freedom of Information Act request, and it was discovered that after 180 days, email messages lose their status as a protected communication under the Electronic Communications Privacy Act. In a nutshell, it's open season on your electronic documents after 180 days, and any messages stored on third-party servers are potentially subject to warrantless access by our government. However, changes are on the way. Reform legislation is working its way through the Senate, and if finalized, it could close the loophole that allows government officials warrantless access to messages stored on third-party servers. The bill that would close this loophole is called the ECPA Amendments Act. It still has a long way to go, since the full 100-member Senate needs to vote in favor of it first. Then the House needs to introduce their own identical or similar bill and pass that. Then, the final bill must go to the President's desk for signing. Mr. Obama, we urge you. So here are two simple things that you can do right now to make this a reality. First, go to end180days.org and sign the petition that supports the ECPA Amendments Act. Second, share this video with everyone you know. Together, we can help put an end to the 180-day loophole and at the same time, we can help put an end to the destruction of our civil liberties. And that's worth fighting for.